の元に戻らぬかそれも全在お宮剣There we go, enough turns passed. Captain, our fight with the Bujakawa has reached a deadlock. If we could escape from this bubble, we might be able to fight our way out of here. Should we attempt to fire the long range cannon on the boundary? Yes, prepare for sequence G. Roger. Now he's like, can't run. Uri, what's wrong? At this rate, they can't run. Uri? We're getting nowhere, isn't there anything we can do? If it's true that the, the Ryuko once defeated the Jakuboa, then it means that the Bu Jakuo isn't invincible. So if we had the Ryuko, then we could beat him? But Kog, he's captured. Get him back, we need to free him from Kanan's control. It's an endless cycle. Because that <laughs> seems like they're solely showing it. Their fear, their panic, their cowardice. But it doesn't look like they're quite ready to give up. We can't waste too much time. Let's begin the attack. I agree. Well then, Bu Jakuo, pierce the heavens. What's it planning? Holy darkness of the end. What? Where did that attack come from? From underground. What? Someone attacked from outside. Then that means... What's that? It's a goddamn Kusta. Howdy, Buha. How you doing? The goddamn shark from hell. Laser shark, look at this shit. Shoot, it's fucking holy energy all over ya. Wang! <laughs> the divine serpent! The divine servant has appeared! Why is it getting in our way? Maybe he doesn't like what we're doing. What are you saying? Our goal is. What the heck's that thing? A robot. A shark? It feels like the bird that saved us earlier. But that way. What? What's going on? Strong gravitational force near the ship. It's growing even stronger. Oh, I thought it was together like that. It's Hayato coming out of the fucking ground going, howdy folks. Captain, our current position is roughly where we were before we fall into the Hermitage. We sent the barrel's mechanoids of the Yokogen. No sign, seems to save by that shark. What was that? Why did it save us? Since it attacked the barrel, because I don't think it's their ally. I knew four stages to the room and the barrel. Four stages are related to the guests and the guys' savings. Ooh. We're going to make up some time after we have to beat up that dude for 10 million years. We can't see anything for certain now, but we do know that the Hermits of Barrel are planning the Mass Transcendence Project and that it's a danger to the world. Even though it seems like they only time before they can start, but unlike the guests' room or guys' savings, they didn't have a way of tracking our movements. That's true. If that weren't the case, then they wouldn't have been able to pull us into the Hermitage. Not only are they elusive, but they don't know where their base is. They'll become quite a troublesome enemy. But the Hermits of Barrel are looking to bring our firepower to their side. Well, that Hermit named Kanan did seem extremely interesting, Kusa. Uh, they'll probably try to recruit us again. That's right, when that happens, maybe we make some kind of breakthrough. We can't always be on the defensive. It's like that with the Eins. I, my subordinates, even in these kinds of fights, I trust them to not lose their will. Finally, some good shit. But man, you got quite the suit of chasing you, Kasua. Looks like Bullet has a rival. This isn't something to joke about. They have Jakubuo and Bujakuo and the Kaoki. That's three of the four gods on their side. But we'll still even it out soon. Yeah, we'll definitely get Kaoki back. From fighting alongside the Ryoko and the Koryo, I thought I understood just how powerful the four gods were. It sucks that you have to fight the rest of the set. And there's an Axel Shan controlling them. Oh yeah, like Ryo is actually Chinese, so. They certainly have a lot of power, given that they were able to warp us to that alternate dimension. They don't seem to want large cells scale destruction, but judging by what they said, if they're able to complete their mass transcendence project, there's no way to avoid that outcome. All of humanity being forced to transcend at the same time. Yep, it looks like they'll need to prepare things and take their time before that happens. But how are they trying to make humanity transcend? I don't know that, but I'm guessing there's some existence that holds this the key. You mean, Barrel's God? That's right, Kanan said she would soon awaken. The Lord of Ruin feeds on negative emotions and energy. So what about the God of Barrel? What's needed for her to revive? They may be with us already. You mean Kasura and Bullet? Or even the Ryujinki? Not just that. After the incident with the Tesla Labs, it seems like the people of Barrel contacted uh, were almost all of the Skidil Dragons and the people related to us. Judging by what Kanan said, it seems like they were looking for certain qualities we possess. And so if they were trying to get us to transcend first, then all of us? 
Yes, I think we may be very important to them achieving their goals. Hey, Eerie. Uh, is it okay if I ask you something? What? You said you had a bad feeling before we went out, right? Was that about Barrel? I don't know. And here's the other. But considering uh, the Barrel did show up, Eerie's in intuition was correct. She would have a similar power to mine. Your Majesty's got a power? It's what they call second sight. It's not like I can see everything about the future, but... You know, in terms of, like, if Eerie also has that ability, then when she was acting weird... But it wasn't just Eerie who had a bad feeling about that place, right? That's true. Kasua, so, uh, Ibis, there's something I want to talk to you about. Okay. Alright, I'll see you later, Your Majesty. Could you go with Eerie? Got it. So what is it, Toma? Because with Eerie, we joined the fight. Right before that shark make appeared, she started acting weird. Huh? What do you mean by weird? She suddenly went silent, and it looked like she was distracted. But I asked her about it later, and she didn't remember. So what does this mean? If Eerie has second sight, then it's possible that she also sensed the shark mech was coming. That's crazy. She was probably just scared, like anyone would be. That's what I thought too, but after hearing what Shine said, it started to bug me. Ibis, if this happens again, it looks like Eerie could be in danger. I think it's best to talk to Rada. Eerie? Elsewhere. In Arabia. And here's Ho. Then the second divine servant is Tyre. Indeed, it attacked us and saved the ship with the Shrine Maiden was on. When they were set upon by Kaoki and Kukuru at the North Pole, the Divine Servant didn't appear. Isn't that Kukuru's fault? It didn't need to help them. And he's good because I wasn't powerful enough? That's what I'm saying. You always were a bit slow. And now here's, uh, Sun Ganlong. Hey, Kalan, see so you failed to get him? Ganlong. You even angered the Divine Servant. It's not like we were trying to do that, and I did get something in return. Oh? I learned the name of the girl who Sarah you chose, Kazuo Mizuha. Doesn't it have such a pleasant and dignified ring to it? I guess, but isn't it a bit hard to say? Mm. She'll be mine, Ganglong. I won't hand her over to you. you. Still going after him? Yeah, but not in the same way. Considering that the second divine servant has appeared, there's no doubt that the Shrine Maiden has chosen Kazuo's side, just like we thought. It does seem like she's getting closer and closer to awakening. Though, I wanted to ripen a bit more around the psychics. You're telling me not to touch them? Since they'll raise her themselves, isn't that easier? They may even defeat the Ruiner. Even if they hold the key, we don't know if they'll actually use it or not. I'm telling you, it takes time for things to grow. It's not good to be impatient. If you water a plant too much, the roots will die, right? But before that, I want to take a flower from their garden. A flower named Kasuha Mizuha. No, Buo, she's not a co-worker, she's like a ghost that they're fucking ruining her life. They, like, Kanan's really rude all the time to Kukuru.